another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we are watching 13 reasons why this episode 12 of season 3 the one right before the finale the chaos i don't know what's going to be revealed actually because last season the second to last episode it was revealed about the bakers you know that they lost the case which i expected to be in the final episode so again maybe we get who's killed bryce in today's episode and then obviously we have the repercussions and the chaos and the fallout and the traumatic you know experiences of everybody in the next one who knows but last episode episode 11 very interesting the police are double downing that clay's their main suspects they think he killed bryce and obviously they're going after him now they brought the same lawyers in that they used for the harry baker case last season in to try and help him they was questioning clay obviously i saw him they was trying to prep him for all situations that he may find himself into they're trying to get ahead of the game even though pff, there's nothing really that they can get ahead of because it's kind of well in my opinion and clay's opinion all lies but could be clay i don't think it is it's going to be interesting to see if it actually is we did see clay end up in the you know in the last um couple of minutes of the episode turning up to tony's and asking if he could help him disappear now obviously i believe that that is not the way to go because if you are innocent then the police are going to obviously think that you are guilty if you're running away they're going to be coming after you with more power and they're going to be looking into you even further now justin he ended up going to seth at the very end of the episode and asking you know he needs a favor from him and if he does this favor he'll deal for him for however long that he wants who knows what that is, mate? Whether it's concealing evidence against Bryce's thing, who knows? It's going to be interesting to find out. Jessica as well. Um, finally, was told by Tyler what had happened to him. He put the pen stick into the computer. She sat there, she watched it, and... Um, you know, she was crying. She was thankful for him for obviously like reaching out and uh, trusting her for this obviously traumatic experience. Now they've been kind of through the same similar things. They can kind of like bond even more because they have seen their relationship progressing throughout the throughout the season. Obviously, him joining HO. Speaking about HO, they went and protested obviously at homecoming on the football field. They all went and got into the underwear. They had like handprints all over the body. They was like hands off and they was chanting. One of the Hillcrest guys come over. He grabbed Jess by the chest and that is what instigated the fight now yes liberty may have threw the first punch but i would say hillcrest were the ones that actually started it and i have no problem with all of the guys from liberty sticking up for the women even though they did interrupt the game and if he was going to do a protest here is much better than at somebody's funeral so i had no problem with them actually protesting here as well so i thought it was a really interesting episode don't know what's going to happen like i said i don't know if we're going to find out who's bryce's killer today or in tomorrow's episode but i can't wait so thanks for checking out today's video if you do enjoy it please smash the like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always let's jump into today's episode <laughs> Do innocent people run? I like how Tony stuck up for him though. Positive from Clay to hear that in my opinion. I tried calling his phone, but then I remember the cops took it. And he gave you no indication that he intended to flee. No warning at all. As a fugitive, Clay had one weakness. He cared about other people. But I'm not going to point at Tony or Justin or anyone else. And I'm sure not going to let you do that. Clay, you have to. Please. Look, look I, I love that you want to help me. You will get found out somehow and you'll be in big trouble. Love, he loves it, doesn't he? Absolutely loves it. Wait, who's gone? Jensen? What the fuck? Did he take off? Or what? Why would he do that? Maybe he is guilty. He's not guilty. That's insane. There's no way he could have taken on Bryce. No, you know what? That would have taken someone who was, I don't know. Six foot, 190. They're the two main suspects right there for me. But now Alex is in the fold. I want to let you know that I can't drive you home today. I, I won't be at school. But I mean, I was really hoping you'd be here today. There's, there's this assembly. You're going to be all right, yeah? I was really hoping you'd be here. A very special welcome to our uh, guests from Hillcrest. We agreed that it was time to bring our schools together for a day of accountability and healing. Jessica Davis, student body president and organizer of the protest, I'd like to offer a few words. Before we go into this, right, I think she had every intention of apologizing, not because she wanted to, just because she had to, because she was being forced to by the principal. And did, did they say, the, what, what, what a superintendent or something? Don't have them in the UK, but I think that's what they called. But after the revelation that Tyler, you know, told her, and obviously everything that she knows now, she ain't going into this and apologising. She's probably going to double down. Well, I hope she double downs on um, what she done because it just reiterates the problem. You know, it's not just on females. It's on 
everyone. And maybe, obviously, she sticks to what she originally was elected to do. And that was to take down, obviously, anybody that does these type of attacks. How is anybody supposed to heal if all we do is cover up the wounds and hope that they'll go away? I admit that the way I went about it wasn't perfect. I'm sorry for how it all ended up. I really am. At first, you think you're, like, permanently broken. We can start picking up those pieces of that mirror together and we can finally see the truth. If you think sexual assault doesn't affect your life, you're wrong. My name is Jessica Davis, and I'm a survivor. I want there to be somebody that nobody knows. Okay, he's back. My name is Tyler Down, and I'm a survivor. Yes, Tyler. It went beyond her group. Oh, someone My else. Name is Robbie Corman, and I'm a survivor. Whoa, Justin. Justin Foley, and I'm a survivor. And we will continue to fight to make sure that no one is assaulted, harassed, or abused at this school. Yes, principal. <laughs> yes. Right, so the interesting thing is we need the Justin conversation. But the main thing is look how many people in that small little room have been through that traumatic experience. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not something that should just be glossed over. It's not like, wow, look at all these people. Well done to you. It's... Wow, look at all these people. Fucking what's wrong with the world? Do you know what I mean? Like, why is so many people suffering? It should be none. Nobody should be standing up. They shouldn't be put in those positions. But you have to respect those people. And they do deserve a clap for coming forward and standing up. Because it's hard, like we see in all of last season. And we've seen all of this season as well with Tyler struggling to get that emotion out and to tell somebody because they, they feel embarrassed like it's their fault and it's not there's nothing they could do about it and it's good there that you've got other people that like justin he would yeah he would never have told his first time we've we've ever heard about it. even looks like jess his first time he's got the courage because he's found out that he's not alone and there's so many other people out there and it's good mate they need the group they need people like this to speak up because without them you know what I mean? Nobody's going to ever get held accountable. Do you think I could be a part of HO too? It's more than allowed. Everybody's welcome at HO. Even if some people were dicks to them in the beginning. Seeing all those people stand up. Hey, was... I love that bit in your speech about the mirror. Is that is that from something? Surprise yeah. reference in it, clearly. But what is it, though? I guess I wondered where that fearlessness might have come from. <laughs> you made it. I gotta take off, but I'm... I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Hey, Jensen, I have a warrant for your arrest for the murder of Bryce Walker. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. But you weren't so sure. No. So, is Alex's dad this? I think Alex's dad thinks Alex done it. Well, who did Bryce spend time with in that time after he left Liberty? Well, um, Montgomery de la Cruz, Pearson. They seem close for a while. It's good that he's trying to figure out stuff, even if it's his son. It's really cool. This is all working out for you. You're injured? No, I'm just tight. Practice was nuts yesterday. Now you're gonna move into downward facing dog. <laughs> the laughter is good, just keep breathing. <laughs> it's just the names. As you exhale, right knee to right wrist. Lay your shin down. It's important to go slow and respect the body's boundaries. You're shaking, does it hurt? I don't know, I don't know what's happening, I just started crying. She's proper wrapped up there, she must be well cold. He knows it's Alex's instantly. I was holding them for a friend. All right, Sheriff, we'll be here in a minute. It matches what... See, that thing there matches what Justin said, though. When they asked him about those, he said that it wasn't mine. He said, well, it's got to be Clay's head. And he said, nah, it's not Clay's either. We was, we was holding them for a friend. He actually said that, and Clay said that as well, which we know is actually true as well. They're not actually holding them for a friend, but they're not theirs. They are the friends. They're Alex's. I'm surprised that he doesn't... Again, I, I know that like, you could say I'm, I'm a narc and stuff, but, like, mate, I'm getting put down for murder. It's not hard to say they're not mine. It was Alex's. It's not throwing anybody under the bus. That, like, literally, it's just, like, you're trying to pin something on me? That ain't mine. Everybody's staring at me. Fuck yeah, they are. You're a rock star. Can I talk to Tyler alone for a minute? No. I need to tell him something. You guys, I'll meet up with you at lunch. Yo, I, I miss Cyrus this season, man. I liked him. I heard Monty say what he did to you. Sorry that happened. And I think Monty should pay for it. And I'll talk to the police if you want me. I have to resign as captain. I don't have a future. And I just need to accept that. If you stick around, I'm sure you'll learn to see that. I've made up my mind. Hey, you always got a home here, Vince. Look, you can stop by any time. No recollection of selling these steroids or anything like them to Clay Jensen or his friends. This is some good shit. 
I couldn't get my hands on it if I wanted to. I was five. My mom had this boyfriend. At first, he would just put his hands on me, put his fingers in my mouth, and start to jerk off. People are crazy, aren't they? Fucking madman. A couple of years. Sometimes they would do stuff that we didn't talk about or that I didn't want to do. And all this time, you've been listening to me and, and helping me and, and letting me preach to you about recovery. I needed just... time. I didn't want my shit to get in the way of your shit. Your shit is my shit. Yo, I love... <laughs> I love these two together. <laughs> you guys just decided it was me. Mrs. Walker told you I hated Bryce and that was it. Went to that homecoming game to confront them, didn't you? Oh, Clay seen that. See, now you think, oh, Clay could have done something, but I've still sat alone that it's not in me. I just don't think it is. You said you didn't know him, that you didn't, you didn't speak to him, but you're, what, you're friends? More than friends? No, no, we're not. This has nothing to do with you. Of course it has to do with me. But we were friends. We are. We were. The thing is, right, I don't dislike Arnie. Yeah, she's a new character this season, but she is pure annoying. She's Clay. Clay's annoying. In my opinion, he's the most annoying character, but it doesn't mean I dislike him. It's because he's heavily involved, so he has so much of the story. Of course, he's going to have more things going on that, like, I, I think, Ugh, that's annoying, that. Oh, why have you done that? Do you know what I mean? Like, someone like Zach, he's not a bit part, but, like, his screen, can screen time compared to Clay's is massively reduced. So that he's not going to be involved in as many things that stress me out. And like her all season, right? I'm not not going to lie. All season, she's just lied. All season. The scenes that she's good in, the scenes that I like her in. And there's, I don't actually, there's not many scenes that I dislike her in. But she's a stressfuler. As in like, she consistently lies. She does something and then... Uh, and then and then and then she gets called on it or something and then she backs it like she, she tries to backtrack and say that's not happened it's not what it thinks you know that, that's not going on and or she'll do something and then she'll pretend that she's not been there she doesn't know somebody or she's not going to this club or she doesn't know him do you know what i mean and it's just like as i keep saying throughout the season, just get everything out there and then everybody is just open in the open then you can make your own mind up when it comes out in drips and jabs you look a lot worse and that's what it is to her her lies just come out so slow that, like, you just remember them. That every episode, she's saying something that, like, doesn't back itself up. It contradicts itself. Oh, hell no. This been wrong. Clay went after Bryce in that fight. And lots of people saw it. Hmm. I lost Bryce in the crowd. I went to talk to Bryce, just to talk. Buddy, let's talk. Sounds like he wanted to meet up and you wanted to get your hands on him. After that, you texted back. I don't want to talk. I want you dead. Bryce died within an hour of receiving that text. God, I, I know I should have said something or should have told somebody or done something earlier, but I, I, I have to now. Don't say that. It's the truth. No. Don't fucking say that to me. I can't let Clay go to jail for this. I have to go Listen to the cops. Listen to me. Let it play out. If I had a guilty conscience, right, what I would do is I would wait until the day of Clay's sentencing. Do you know what I mean? Like, when you know it's getting that far down the line, and then I would say it was me. But if it is him, I'm pretty chuffed that I must have called that in around episode four or five or something. Really, honestly, it was so early on in the season. I know I threw Alex's name into the the ring right now but it's i've always said it was zach or montgomery very early on even what was the episode where he was with chloe and she got rid of the baby is that like episode three that's how early on it was mate they sat there on the bench and she said to him it was before bryce's body was found i never said he killed him but like that's where my suspicion started because she said after the game mate yeah it, it took you like an hour to get to me or something. After the hospital, you, did, you, did you come straight to me or something? It took, it took you an hour. And he said, I had to go and stop off somewhere. And then obviously I come straight to you. And then obviously later on, that episode, they said she said, do you think Bryce is going to be all right? And I said, oh, maybe he's tied up somewhere. And then it would just cut to the next scene and he was dead. I was like, all right, maybe not. Do you know what I mean? And then maybe like two, three episodes in, I was like, that's it, mate. You know, I think it's him or Montgomery. I'm leaving now. Not that it matters, since you've decided I'm no longer your daughter. You refuse to trust anyone, but I'm not willing to live like that anymore. Uh, I'm here to make a confession. 
I don't think it's him, man. I feel like he might have argued with him on the night, but... Oh, is that for the blood from the needle? At the station. Tell me what's going on. What are them stars on his collar? The sheriff has four. Is it rankings? Is he close to being a sheriff himself? Exactly. Water or something? What exactly happened that night? Start at the beginning. Zach told you that it all started before the game, in the tunnels. Hey, Chloe, wait up. No. Bryce, you should know I, I was pregnant. Oh. It was yours. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. Oh, I wouldn't I wouldn't have told him that. That's not beneficial that it's that's mad. I'm so, I'm so sorry you had to go through that alone. I Don't say alone. Oh, Zach was there though. Yeah, I, I didn't like that conversation. That didn't need to come out, that, actually. Like, I mean, I know that Bryce has done stuff to her so she can fucking stab it into him, really. It's not my girlfriend, buddy. You don't think that's for free, do you? Fucking Hillcrest, man. They want us to think that we're the losers, that they're going to get this win just like they get every other fucking thing they want in this world, but they will not. Some of you think I'm a narc, or I don't know, whatever. Honestly, I don't give a fuck. I would bleed for any single one of you. I would lay down my life. No lie. Let's show them who we are. This win. One time, who are we? Oh. <laughs> my mom met me at the hospital. The doctors looked at my leg, but uh, I, I didn't stay home. That was interesting. Before obviously we go into it, what we're saying? Do we think it's him? We could be stupid by saying no. Um, but again, I've seen it many a times in many a shows where, like, he fully will believe that he's the killer because he went and confronted Bryce at the end of the game. And then he may have hit Bryce. Do you know what I mean? He may have left him on the floor and gone home. And obviously the next day he's found out Bryce is dead. Just kind of like the other season where they knocked down the stop sign. And then obviously, you know, the, the girl, I can't remember her name now, but she left it, didn't she? Was it Sherry? She left it. And then the day, the same day, the same night, yeah, there was a crash, wasn't there? And Hannah was thinking that they're the reason, they're the cause of the death, so to speak. She was guilty conscience on her mind. But we never know that that stop sign not being there was the cause of the actual crash slash death. And it's like, but they, they, they thought that, you know, they, they caused it. And it's the same with him. He could have gone, he could have hit Bryce, he could have knocked him on the floor and left and found out he was dead. But in the time that he's gone, somebody else could have arrived and hit him with a final blow. He could have pissed somebody else off and they could have done it. Do you know what I mean? So, like, right now, obviously, we've got to go with him. But I still think the spanner in the actual works could be Alex. It could be. I, I want to do this. Tyler, what you're doing is so brave. We'll be right here waiting for you. It's reporting Monte. Go on, Tyler. Okay. So I, I knew the Hillcrest bus would take them back there. So I waited for Bryce. Don't expect to see you here. What's up, friend? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> My fucking life! Sorry you never had a friend in your life. She didn't fuck you because you're a pussy ass bitch. He loves calling him that, doesn't he? <laughs> oh. Ah, fuck you, Gypsy! <laughs> Looks like he left. That's not how he died. That's not how he died. You beat him, then drove away and left him on the pier. Yeah. In the middle of the pier, just laying there. But that doesn't explain the blunt force trauma to the back of his head. Well, thanks for coming in, Zach. Free to go. What you did was assault and battery. Bryce Walker was found with water in his lungs. Okay, that means he was alive when he went into the water. <laughs> Look how good he feels now. He's probably holding that in for time. Oh, go on. I was going to pause it. Well, let's see. What the fuck are you doing here? What the fuck? What's the fuck? Monty's charge? next. Sexual assault in the first degree. You made me murder. Everyone had their reasons for wanting to kill Bryce. And at the end of the night, one of them would have followed through. I had sex with the boy who raped you. I'm telling you, as my friend, the worst thing I've ever done. Don't think it's her. I actually believe that that is the worst thing that she's done. 
she's only told her that right because she is trying to get the mirror reference out of her when she stood there and she'd done a speech she's heard something and it was like a reflection and maybe it's a reflection of the water after throwing bryce in who knows but she hasn't gone there as a friend to try and be like oh do you know what i'm sorry i need to get it off my chest i did sleep with bryce she wants something in return she wants this answer she wants her to confess that's what she wants she wants to save clay she cares about clay more than the others which is fine do you know what i mean like if you could throw one friend under the bus to say the better friend, then she's going to be doing it. But I did say I wasn't convinced after Zach. I know when Zach said, oh, I killed him. I went on a little, oh, well, I would have guessed it right after episode three. But then I also did count on myself, you know, like by saying we've seen it many a times where people think they've done something like I firmly fully believed he thought he killed Bryce. But it didn't match the description of once it played out of how he died. He had a fight of him, yeah, he did. Like, the pictures there that Tyler was looking at, yeah, the back of Bryce's head, it's all mashed up. I don't think that's from when Zach was just punching him and then, like, he, he threw his body kind of on the floor. Maybe it is. He banged his head, do you know what I mean? That's where all the cuts from. But they said that he was alive when he, um, when he got thrown into the water. Now, what I would like to know is, say, say Zach beat Bryce up, absolutely beat him up, like, totally, 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 and Bryce couldn't really move. He couldn't get back to, I don't know, like the end of the bridge. But in his head, he thought maybe I could roll off the side. And when, when I'm in the water, I could drift towards the, the shore. Do you know what I mean? Closer to the land. And then obviously, like he rolled off and and, and actually didn't. And he, he died in the water. Is that all Bryce's fault? Do you know what I mean? Or like, would could you pin some of that on Zach? Because obviously he caused so much like bodily harm that he couldn't actually, you know, make it back to a place and he tried to and he died in that process. You know what I'm saying? But somebody clearly has come. They've stood there. They threw him in. Now, do you, I, I would like it not to be Monte and just let him get, get suffer from the police because that's two things. I know you could say, oh, well, Monte's a dick and, you know, he, he could pin both... But, like, I just think it'd be good if these two people, like, go down, Monte and Alex. Do you know what I mean? Like, instead of pinning it all on one, pin it on two. Then, all season, we've been guessing what's going on, what's going to happen to them both. We can see it. And I still think that Alex's dad thinks that he may have something to do with it. We see him snooping and searching and questioning last episode as well, when he was having breakfast. I'm going to... Alex is now my main suspect. I know they've... I know, like, coming into it... Earlier on in the season, we did say it was Zach and uh, Monte. And then, obviously, as we progress through, Alex has come into the top two. And then, obviously, we had Zach today. And I was thinking, maybe he got it right. And then I, I quickly was like, no, nah, I don't think it is him. Now Monte's been arrested. I think it's Alex. I actually do think it's Alex. And that is going to wrap up today's episode. Very, very interesting. So, Clay has obviously been brought in. Looks like, anyway, that they convinced... Well, they're going with... I think Alex's dad is sus, actually. Not thinking that it is Clay. But right now, we've finished with the episode of him in his orange jumpsuit, mate. Orange is a new black. He's getting took to prison. Now, I don't know where he's actually going, but he's in a cell. He's suited and booted. He's ready to get took down. Uh, Zach did come in to do the confession, but obviously... As we were just discussing then, we didn't really think that he'd done it. And uh, we did take, get a good fight scene, to be honest. Um, he did take Bryce out, and uh, Bryce did take him out. And his leg looked brutal, mate. When Bryce actually hit it, it looked bad, didn't it? Now, obviously, if you looked at um, the episode as well, Clay did see um, Bryce kiss him. Uh, Anna, which obviously Clay's in love with her and obviously he's got upset, he tried to confront him we did see him outside of his house saying that he's going to kill him then he texted him and then Bryce as he's always like, buddy, I think we need to talk and then he was like, I don't want to talk just want you fucking dead or something like that and then obviously, looks anyway sounds to me that Clay didn't go to the docks, he didn't go there um, doesn't look like the type of shoes that Clay would wear to be honest, the person that walked up against him at the end then, but who knows, it could be you know, we, we, we don't know, we teased it now, I was trying to look at the walk. Do you know what I mean? The walk is very... Inter like, it's, it's important because Alex has been hobbling. And, um, you know, if it's somebody that managed to just walk there dead easy, then it wasn't him. And it could be Montgomery. And he has been arrested because Jessica today did come up and she did do a speech. Now, she didn't do what the principal wanted her to do and was apologised to everybody. She stuck to her guns. She doubled down on the reason why she's in charge and the reason why, obviously, she was elected and she ran for it. 
it and that was to help survivors help people that have been through all these traumatic experiences stop it from happening again she was like i'm jess and i'm a survivor and then somebody else was like i'm a survivor and then tyler come up i'm a survivor and then justin i'm a survivor do you know what so many people in that small little area have been abused and it's crazy to think that because you know uh, you may think that it's like one in a million nah mate I, I would actually love to know the statistics on it like how many people are actually suffer from this type of thing because it's way more than you suspect and also uh you wouldn't know that because many people are obviously scared about speaking up they feel like they'd be judged they feel embarrassed and like i was saying earlier on and many times this season it's not their fault that they've been attacked because somebody's crazy and mental in the head that they think it's okay to take somebody and actually you know like abuse them and I just think it's madness and I do like the fact that the show highlights that it's not just like a one-off thing it happens often and there's a lot of people and it's not just one gender it's happening to two do you know what I mean both genders can can experience this now again what I think is interesting is Monte has been taken and arrested at the end there and he said that it could be for uh it could be for murder it's also for rape two other people raped um raped Tyler you know they can't get away with it now Monty might have put the broom up, up his backside, but what about the two people holding him down and putting his head in the toilet? They're just as much as, um, you know, a person that's done it as him. So I hope that they get took down as well. I like the guy that come over and said to Tyler that, you know, he's sorry that everything that happened to him. And he was like, you know, uh, if he needs somebody to to testify, you know, obviously in, in the station, then I will do because I heard him confess to Bryce that he did do it and he was like well why would you help me out you know you don't even like me and he's like well why would i not like you like uh, and he's like because you're a jock and he's like well yeah but you know people say stuff about me and i'm a jock that i'm an asshole and i'm this and i'm that but i'm not you know it's just like a thing that comes around now i do like how we've had cyrus pop up in like three four little scenes recently i thought his character was decent last season i thought he'd done well with tyler and i would like to see him come in maybe for the final season and use him a bit more but I am excited to find out who's killed Bryce. I still don't believe it's Clay. I actually don't. I don't believe it is. Um, well, obviously, it's just been confirmed that it's not Zach. And I'm going with it's not Mo Monty as well. So I, I, I'm going with Alex. But they're trying to tease us. Now, that's what they do this this show. Like, they try and get the very end of the episode to tease you to make you think it's somebody. Now, first of all, what deal did Justin cut with Seth? That wasn't made this episode. We didn't expand on it any further. We did see him taking some of the drugs. But what we have seen is that Alex's dad is suspicious of him. He's doing some searching of himself. He's found some look like wipes. I believe it was wipes in his drawer. And that's obviously because if he's been injecting, that he's obviously been like wiping the blood, you know, like stains off him, so to speak. We've had Annie come over and ask Jess, what did she mean when she was saying a reference about looking in the mirror, looking in the reflection. And she's come to her and sat at the desk uh, table at the end of the episode and said, look, mate, the worst thing I've ever done is sleep with Bryce. What's the worst thing you've ever done? Trying to get it out of her that it was her that killed him. But I still don't know, man. Honestly, I have no idea. Can't wait to find out in the final episode. Thanks for checking out today's video. If you did enjoy it, please smash the like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.